Hello and welcome back to All the Mods 10. Today we'll be doing the third and final All the Modium Alloy Ingot. And there are three of the All the Modium Alloy Ingots. We have the recipe for one, this one, and two, which is the this one over here. And then we're going to set up the Vibranium All the Modium Alloy Ingot today. Or we hope to have that set up by today. And uh, why, why do we need that? Well, we can use that to make all these other tools right here. And uh, it's not special. But, of course, uh, a little bit for folding. But if you take a look up here, you have the all the compressed. And, uh, yeah, look at all the alloy blocks that goes up to 9x. Look at that. Total blocks, 387 billion. And that, that's blocks. And each block's nine of these ingots. So, hopefully, it doesn't come down to making something all-powerful. It doesn't. It, let's hope that... The star, for example, doesn't require any of these blocks anytime soon. So uh, we're just going to have to worry about the uh, the alloy ingots themselves. And we're only able to make a handful at the moment. Because, well, it is probably going to require a whole bunch of resources. And uh, we're going to require some increasing or scaling up of production or machineries. Or some kind of magic components. So anyway, the Ars of Old stuff, uh, you need to... Uh, make the unattainium, all the monium alloy ingots with Ars Nouveau. So let's take a look at the recipe again. Uh, you acquire the essences from Ars Nouveau, four of these, and then you require the all the monium ingot, the unattainium ingot, and Pickridge hearts in order to make one of these unattainium, all the monium alloy ingots. So in the previous episode, we kind of set up some kind of something janky over here, and then uh, I cleaned it up and moved it all inside this house. There we go. Here's the module routers, just moving the um, the source gems inside these uh, impugment chambers. You see all the ingredients on these arcane pedestals. And they make the appropriate essences. And then uh, the module router pull them back, uh, puts it back to the ME network. And then um, you can go upstairs to find the enchanting apparatus. And this one makes the alloy itself. Let me see. Is that correct? Let me see. Uh, enchanting apparatus. And this is the... Yep, that's correct. Okay. So this is what makes the final alloy ingot and places it back into the ME network. You know what? Let me just test that to see if it still works. So here we go. Unatanium aluminium alloy ingot. And that is this one. Okay. Let's make one, shall we? Where's the elevator stand place? Here? Ah, here we go. Ah, look at the source go! Yep, there we go. And well, the one up here. Bam! Done! Yeah, we should have an extra one right inside our ME network. Of course, that to only took like a few seconds. Uh, how long was that? Maybe 10 seconds? I don't know. I wasn't counting. So, yeah, if you're going to scale that up in order to make one of these blocks, then that's going to take a while. That's going to take a while in order to do. This, is, this will have to be constant. Be constant, which is... um. Not quite sure how to go about that if I'm gonna scale it up really. So yeah, uh, we'll worry about that later if it uh, if we need to do that. So for the other alloy ingot, let's take a look at the recipe for that one. And that requires the dissolution chamber. And here's the recipe for that: pickled hearts, pink slime, vibranium ingots, and unattainium ingots. This one's a little bit easier to scale up because all we need is a dissolution chamber. We just need to make more of these machines, really, and just uh, place more pattern providers and uh, have more of these ingredients. Oh yeah, you require soul lava as well. And uh, water is a byproduct because the pink slime makes water as a byproduct. And you need to take that out as well. So here's the unattainium vibranium alloy ingot. Let's go back to the base. All right, where the heck did it go? Uh, this one. Ah, here we go. We only have one of the dissolution chambers. I think I put. I think I placed another one over here. Yeah, this is for the um the soul lava, I think. All right. Okay, and here's the recipe for the unattainium vibranium alloy ingots. And uh, yeah, let's try making one of these and see if it still works. There we go, making the pink slime. If it comes down to scaling it up, I may have to separate these re recipes. And there it goes. There you go, one unattainium vibranium alloy ingot. And it still works. So let's go ahead and set up the third and final alloy ingot. And we're going to set that up all the way over here and not back at the base because we are going to take advantage of this big power that we set up in a previous episode. This is the mycelial reactor 
And we have all of these generators, 16 of them, at the ready, generating power. So this one can run and give us about 25 million FE per day. Why, why do we need that big power? Because if you take a look at the dirt and final vibranium, all ammonium alloy ingot, take a look at the recipe for that. We need the energizing orb. We need all ammonium ingots, pickage hearts, block of nitro crystals, a vibranium ingot in order to make that. But for the power consumption, it is 1 billion FE just make one of these ingots. Isn't that crazy? So that's why the biggest power that we have right now is the micellular reactor right here. Um, not quite sure how much these add up though. Uh, this is generating 230k FE per tick. And we have about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 of these reactors. So maybe that kind of adds up to like, um, I don't know how much that would be really. So we're going to need several reactors in order to match one of these. So maybe we can uh, make more of these. But that was a pain in the ass in order to make this in the first place. So it requires a lot of setting up. But we're going to see. All right. So anyway, we're going to run a cable from this thing. And um, is it generating power now? We're going to see. Everything's turned off right now until we need it. We're going to run a cable out of here. And this cable is for what again? That's from there, isn't it? You know what? I have no qualms about connecting this cable to that cable. But then again, we want to separate one. Okay, we'll, we'll separate that. So I have to go under. Okay, and then we're going to have to wrench this out. See if I can put none on that. Okay. And we're going to put none on here. So they do not stick to each other. But it sticks to that one. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to have to wrench this one. We don't have to put it side by side, but you know. Whoops. Just run it up first. Okay. And then this cable will have to go to over here for the future SPS. And then we might place the energizing orb somewhere a little bit more discreet, maybe. But we also need access to the ME network, the main one. And uh, it's down here somewhere. So we're going to have to maybe put it here somewhere. But then again, we're going to need a bunch of room in order to um, place down our little energizing rods here. One of these, several of these, really. So uh, yeah, let's just put it in this corner over here. Why not? So, But before we do that, we're going to run that ME cable. We'll run an ME cable from here. If you can see it down here. What is that? The purple one? Okay. All right. See purple. And we're going to need more cables. Purple. All right. There we go. And this should only have one channel on it being used. So we have seven free channels on that. So we can just piggyback off of this um, cable, then run it all the way over there. Okay. All right, here's the cable. So let us place that somewhere. Not quite sure where to place that. Maybe over here or maybe over here. But we, we don't need that much room. So we're just going to run this over here and uh, maybe place down a pattern provider right in the center here. And uh, we only need the regular ME pattern provider because there's only one recipe anyway. There we go. We're going to use this recipe that I've made previously, which is for the Vibranium All the Morning Mellow Ingot. And we're going to stick it right there in the pattern provider. And uh, let's see, this is one channel, and it's online. This should have two channels used, okay? All right, so we're going to get the Energizing Orb, place it right on top of here, right click the pattern provider, and do blocking mode on air because we don't want extra ingredients to be inside the Energizing Orb when they don't need to. 
messing up the the crafting process. Get out of here, cravage. That's really have get out of here. All right. Uh, let's see drawers. I uh, don't need that anymore. All right. So let's run the power cable. And um, let's run it that way and up that way. But then again, we're going to have to power the SPS too. So um, we're just going to leave this little sliver right here. Okay. All right, that should do it. Let's make a little bit of a cage here. Gotta be real careful not to dig up the reactor. Alright. It's a little better. Alright, so let's uh, place down whatever rods that we have. One there, there, there. All along the sides here. Let's go ahead and make some more rods. Let's see. Uh, Harton, Neotic. Ah, three more. I make 20 more. Why the heck not? All right, while that's busy, let us connect this thing over here. There we go. And then it should be connected now. That one goes up there in the future. All right, great. This one's off because everything else is off right now. So let's go ahead and turn this sucker on. So we're going about to get some debuffs right about now. Look at that TNT go right there. Ah, yeah, there it is. All right, let's check things out. Uh, the Envar is going. Uh, the Slime Ball is going. Uh, this one's always going. And uh, in the previous episode, I had like a water pool over here. I changed out to this yellow sink over here. So, you know, just put it right up to the router. It works fine. All right, that's still going. Uh, what about this? Okay, that's the same one. Uh, this one's Dragon's Breath. That's going. Uh, that one's the rockets. That that's the one that gives levitation. Uh, not quite sure what gives us bleeding. Probably the TNT one that gives us bleeding. Uh, what about this one? The death machine with its bones. Uh, TNT is definitely going. There it is. Uh, let's see. Nether stars is going. The bread is going. You can very well use honey bottles for that. And what couldn't we? Uh, let's see ender pearls. Uh, blue ice. Let's see deep potions. All right. Let's see what's going on with you. Ah, let me turn this one on. All right, there we go. That's running. Uh, block of coal. That should be running, right? Are you generating? Okay, you're generating. 80 FE per tick. Pink dyes. That's going. Nether warts is going. Okay, great. Lava's going. There we go. Okay, it's still on. It is 25 million. Let's see. That's um, 80... Uh, yeah. Million. If I'm reading this correctly, let's see. 25... Oh, okay. It holds 100 million FE in here. Uh, I'm hoping it's still generating power. Let me just take a look here. Uh, let's see, this one and this one. It's not taking any more power out. It's all filled up now. All right, let's take the let's take off some more rods. Okay. That one is... Okay, that's filling up. It's already filled up. Wow, okay. One there, there. And there. Alright, great. Should we put some on the top too? Let's uh let's put some on the top. Let's see uh, uh can we put one there? No, we can't put one there. 
You can put it right down the middle, I suppose. There we go. Very nice. You don't want to be standing in the middle of that. Alright, great. Now all the all the all charged up. Okay, they're all charged up. Let's take a look at the reactor now. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. And uh hopefully it's still on. Nothing's moving though, but uh, I'm hoping that's still on. So alright. Recipes in there, so let's give it a go, shall we? But before we do that, let us take the wrench here and see if they're all linked. Oh, look at that. Nice and symmetrical. All right, cool. All right, let's see. Uh, alloy. Then we'll make one of these. Now, so, some of the ingredients are being made back at the base, such as the um, the stuff and uh, the nitro stuff, rather. And uh, it needs a 1x nitro block. See how that's going. Uh, yep, making all the nitro crystals because we need the 1x block, which is right there. So we need basically need nine of these blocks, put them together, and make 1x. Oh, look at it go! Oh, yeah, all that 20 million FE going down the drain. Oh, yeah, that's right. I gotta pipe it back in, huh? Funny, funny. All right. Um, just to make it look a little bit more prettier, should we use the should we use the AE2 cables or should we? Um, well, I guess so. I mean, the cables right here anyway. But then again, I need to put it back in the prime provider. All right. Let us use the yellow ones. We don't have to. Then does that look good? You won't be able to see it. And you won't be. There's a cage over it anyway, so what's the big deal? All right, so, uh, import. I need a storage. Oh. Acceleration. All right, import. Storage. And of course, um, do we need to power this? It's offline now. Uh, well. Too late. How the heck am I gonna pop? All right, let me use the mech cables. It won't look as pretty, but whatever. All right, just go teleporter. And port ding a jiggy. Whoops. Dang it. All right, here we go. All right, just make it look a little bit better. I'm just going to, um. Let's see, what's the pattern? Should I? That goes from the bottom. Let me just get rid of these. And let's try it one more time. One. And there it goes. All right, great. That works. Now, what can we do with this alloy now that we can make it? All right, so what's this? ME Infinity Endstone Cell. Infinity Source of Endstone? What the heck am I going to do with that? What is this? Netherrack. Oh, that's enticing. Infinity Dirt. Oh, I could use one of those. Because we haven't made the uh, whatever 9x dirt block or whatever that's required for the star. Uh, see, we can make blocks. <laughs> Funny. Uh, what is this? Diorite. Oh, well, I have a lot of diorite anyway. Let's see. Infinite cobble deep slate cells. Infinity moss blocks. Infinity blackstone. These are very enticing. I mean, well, you're at the end of the game and you're like, what? What? I already built the base and it's like, I don't need these materials anymore. All right. Let's look for something a little bit more exciting, not the cells. 
But then again, I just want to... Ooh, the sand. Nice. Okay. All right. Quests for that. Okay. All right. So to, in order to make the tools and the weapons and whatnot, you're going to need to forbidden or canis forge. And you're going to also need some of these funky looking items as well. So let's see what we have here. We have the alloy axe, the pick, the shovel, and the alloy blade. Now, is there any armor for this? I don't think so, is there? I don't see it in here. Ooh, the Paxo. Ooh, I gotta make the Paxo. But then again, it won't have the features in JT. I've been using this damn thing for the longest freaking time just because it has all these other features in it. You know, drop teleporter, x-ray, instant break, etc., etc. I might not even switch at all. But you know what? I'm gonna make it as a trophy, really. Uh, the Paxo. How the heck do you make that? But, oh. Of course. Okay, maybe... Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and maybe make the sword, because we could use a new sword. Even though that we have, like, uber strength, and we can just one-punch mobs to, to death. Uh, Alright, so the Untanium Sword has 51 attack damage. And the sword, the Alloy Blade, which is right here, has 69, nice, attack damage, uh, 6.9 attack speed, and, uh, uh, what is this one? 1.4 attack speed, oh, mm hmm So already, that one's better, the Alloy Blade's way better. So, we're gonna try making this thing, and, uh, going into the Arcana stuff, uh, can we do anything with the Arcane Anvil? What, what the heck is this? You put a scroll in it? Oh, fancy. Imbue spells. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. All right. So let's make a recipe for the other ingredients in here. All right. Let's see what else we need. We need the silver dragon scales, golden dragon scales. Uh, we need the aquatic dragon scales. All right. So everything else that we need, internal stellas we have because we have the bees. Of course, you got to originally make a few of these in the first place in order to get the bees anyway. So uh, once you get the bees, you're golden. You, you don't need any more. So, let's check the eternal stellar supply to see how many do we have. Uh, 2777, of course, the rate at which the bee is going in order to get the eternal stellars is kind of low. Um, it's been going for a while, so we only have this much. So, the stellarite pieces has 113k. Not that low compared to the eternal stellars. So, the expectified orbs is 578,000. So, that's not low either. The only thing that's low is the Eternal Stellas, really. So, great. And, uh, yeah, you, you can do a bunch of stuff with the uh, Eternal Stellas. But most notably, you can remove their abilities from tools. So, you might want to look in that and see what kind of fun things you can do with it. Such as um, removing their abilities off the uh, Flint and Steel, because why the heck not? What is this? Eternal Elytra. Huh. It looks like you just mangled it. Okay, well. Then you can remove, like, the durabilities out of... Oh, bunch of these tools. And uh, yes, I did try it on the ore hammers, and it didn't work. But that was a few versions ago, so it may have been changed. Who knows? Uh, also tried it on the engineering's hammer. It does work with manual crafting until AE auto crafting just destroyed it, and I don't know where it went. So uh, yeah, there's that. All right, so uh, let's make a recipe for the silver dragon scale. How the heck do you even make this? Do we even have all these? Oh, we do. How many dragon scales do we have? Dragon scales. All right, 64,000. And 144 of the mystical Editions dragon scales. So in order to get the dragon scales from the Forbidden Arcanus, um, I have Amber the Ender Dragon, as you can see in a previous video. It's a short, small video of uh, me ambering the Ender Dragon, taking it back to the bees, just placing it down, and you get a whole bunch of loot with that. Alright, here's the Amber Room, not to be confused with the OG Amber Room. Uh, we have a pig, we have a skelly. Does this thing give us bones? You're not giving us enough bones, are you? Uh, here's the um, the Warden, and here's the End Dragon. Look at that. Nice. Look at the stuff it's given us. Like dragon Scales, Arcane Essences, Dragon Skins, and um, what's the speed on this thing? It's kind of like... Alright, well, as fast as it can go. All right. uh, let's see what else we have. We have the Wither, we have the other Warden. Uh, we have the Possessed Elder Guardian. We have a gas, cow, chicken, magma cube, sheep, and a spider. Hmm. Okay. 
and we spot for one, two, three, four, five more. And uh, you know what? I can scale up and add another level on here if I want to. So yeah, that's great. All right, I may even place back the um, what you call those those iron spells NPCs. Yeah, that'll be fun. But then you're gonna have to manage all the scroll drops. All right. So anyway, what the heck were we doing? All right, the dragon scales. All right, let's make a recipe for this. There we go. And uh, let's see, arcane crystal dust. How the heck do you make these again? Arcane crystals. Oh, that's not a problem. We have plenty of these. Arcane. Oh, 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 we have 1.1 million arcane crystals. So that is totally not a problem at all. And we have that much. Thanks to, you guess it, the bees. All right, golden dragon scales, diorum ingots, and dragon scales. Do we even have that? Oh, we don't have that. All right, how the heck do you make diorum ingots? What the heck is this? Okay, we make those. Uh, Mundy dust. I'm going to call it Mundy dust. Uh, charcoals, we don't have a recipe for, so we're just going to make one for that. Uh, what's this? Wood essence and coal. I'm not sure if I have a wood essence. Um, do I have wood essence? I know I have to see for it, but I don't. Oh, I do. Okay, cool. All right, let's go back to here and here. Do I have coal essence? Okay, uh, coals, coal. Oh, I don't. Okay. Fine. Looks like we're using the furnace. All right. Blast furnace. Furnace. Uh, mineral logs. All right, let's try that. And uh, what logs do I have? Acacia logs. 152k. Now, which one's ongoing right now? Ah, we'll pick the cherry ones. Here we go. Get out of here. All right, there we go. Got the charcoals. Your ingots and uh, the money dust. Make a recipe for that. Now, um, let's see. Phantom membranes. Oh, that's a problem. Let's see. Gunpowder. We, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, phantom membranes. This is, um, we use the HNN thing. Let's see, we can use the occult ritual, which we can't do anymore because they changed the pentacle. They nerfed the pentacle. It was all. Easy, smooth sailing until they changed it. Now you require the other color charts and a bigger room, which I don't have. So that means I'm going to have to move it. Uh, all right, phantoms. I do have a phantom egg. Or I hope I do. Here we go. Phantom egg. And a phantom spawner. All right. Let's uh, maybe have some fun with that, maybe? Where the heck am I going to place it? All right, here we go. Let's go down here. Where the heck did I get this? All right. Uh, stupid Enderman. All right. Um, got to set this up. Set up all the loot. Now, what the heck do you do? Frame storage controller. I think this brings it back to the ME network. What What do you do? Blue Bandit B trophy. Oh, you cheeky bugger. What? B stingers. What? They're still looting this thing? Oh, my goodness. That bee clogged up the system. They're all the useless loot in here. What is this? Ocean of Fire Resist? The witch drops that? I, I guess. I thought the witch drops the healing. Okay, well, whatever. Here, just put it in there. Oh, I know what drops that. The blazes. All right, what are you hung up on? Enderman spawning? Really? Huh. Okay, well, put that in there. All right, let's see. Um, This one... That's the clicker. Okay. And it should be over here. Let's turn it on and see if it works. Come on. You can do it. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. I forgot one crucial item. All right. Good thing it's daytime. Did I miss one? No, B. Get, get out of here, B. No, get out of here. It's for your own good. Get out. Stop coming in here. Alright. Um, I've forgotten the AI thing. What was the AI thing again? Um, ah, chorus. That's right. Chorus fruit. Put that in there. No AI. Wonderful. Put that in there. Stay there. 
And them burning up is a problem. I should have placed the roof over this thing. Alright, well. Let's... Ooh, ooh, that's right. We have Inferno mobs. Look at that. Rare, fire, ballsy, phantom, the slowing... Oh, B word. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and... Uh, which direction is that? That direction? Okay. Means we'll activate this one. And hopefully the clicker is faster than the burning. Alright, there we go. There's some phantom membranes. Wonderful. I see phantom membranes. Uh, we'll place that right there. Alright, great. Alright, first things first. I'm gonna check this map out. Those are claimed chunks. Make sure it's force loaded. Alright, there we go. And then uh, we're going to transport all our delicious loot back to the ME network. It's Magma Cube Trophy. Alright, Magma Cubes. Um, this is in here, I suppose. Is it in here? Magma... Okay, put that in there. This one's for... Are you transporting now? Or are you, like, not transporting? Magma Cube Trophy. Where, where do you even go anyway? Oh, the controller. Oh, that's a problem. Right, give me this. All right, that goes into here, which re should really go into here. So wh what do we have in here? Nothing? Okay. Do that. Instead, do this one instead. All right, mob tower, where was it again? Uh, mobs. Yeah, right inside there. Yeah? Oh, is it filled already? Ah, it shouldn't be. What the heck are you taking out? That's a lot of trophies. Oh yeah, that's uh, that, that's the witch trophies. Uh, what are you taking out now? The blaze rods? Okay, it'll take a while just to get to the me membranes. All right, we'll, we'll leave that alone for a while. Uh, looks like that one's still going. Ah, really? All right, well, the infernal mobs is gonna put a hamper on these guys. Ah, man. What the heck? You can't even destroy it when it's still alive? Okay. Rare, spiky, phantom, the Raiden. Alright, you're going away. Jeez. Yeah, it's making a mess of the place. Alright, let's get out of here. We'll leave that alone. Hell, yeah, you get over here. You teleporting little... Get out of here. Ridiculous. I might have to amber one and just use it like like that instead. All right, let's go back. And uh, how many uh, phantom membranes do we have right now? We have one fifty two. So let's put that in there. All right. Uh, chain mount and just um that in there. That in there. All right, we're working on this one, weren't we? No, this one. Okay, Diorum ingots. And uh, we were doing the Monday does, weren't we? That requires the phantom membranes. Okay. All right. So we're gonna make this Yorum ingots. Okay. I'm gonna put this in here, here, and here. Okay. Charcoal goes to the furnace. There we go. Alright, golden dragon scales, right there. Now we can make it. Alright, for the aquatic dragon scales, what do we need for that? Prismarine shards and prismarine crystals. So how's that supply going? 345,000 prismarine shards, uh, 21,000 prismarine essence, prismarine crystals, that is 158,000. Okay, we're good on that. We are absolutely good on that. Alright, aquatic scales. I'm going to put that right there. All right, great, wonderful. Now, what what else do we need for this? 
uh press u on that and we were trying to make the the blade here we go uh unatanium let's see one two three that's for the three alloys uh the golden dragon scales silver ones all three of these scales so uh, aside from that we're going to need the tier four forge we're going to need 300 xp 1000 blood 32 souls and 100 oreo so let's get over there and find out if we have that Does this still say? Eh, typical. Come on, up. All right, there we go. Come on, up. Oh, that's right. All right, here's our tier five. Well, hopefully it's still tier five, right? I can't tell if it's tier five. All right, whatever. Uh, we have thirteen thousand or whatever Orioles in here. A five hundred eighty-five souls. Uh, thirteen thousand blood, and we have seventy-five hundred XP. All right, great. Uh, let's get the scales going. Make the silver one. Okay, I'm gonna make the golden one. Aquatic one. Take those out. Then we're gonna need the alloys. So one, two, and three. Alright, so, um, alright, start placing these down. All right, now what the heck are we missing? Ah, right, the Eternal Stellas. All right, get another one of those. Put that there, and uh, put that there. All right, great, I think we're all set. All right. And then we're gonna need our blade, but before we do that, we wanna take the enchantments off of there. Because there might be a chance that They'll just eat the enchantments, be like, haha, you're not getting those back. Alright, there we go. Alright, place that right in there. Ooh, fancy. Alright, cool. Now we're gonna get out Gavel. Which is... Remaining ritual uses, 30. Aha. Uh -huh. Didn't I put an internal stell on this thing? Alright, well, whatever. 29 use. Uh, I didn't use to show remaining uses. Didn't use to show this either. Ah. It's done! The Automodium Alloy Blade for 69. Nice attack damage. There we go. Alright, let's put the enchantments back on there. Eighty-six levels. No problem for us. And look at that. Here's our new Aldermodium Alloy Blade. All the enchantments intact, 69 attack damage. Alright, so that has been another episode of All the Mods 10. I'm in Bumble Block, and uh I'll see you next time.